A continuación en Perfil Latino, el segmento de nutrición de Potino's Shop Ride. Vamos a convertir recetas favoritas para que sean más saludables. Presentado por Maribel Santos. Hi, welcome to Botino's ShopRite stores. Today we are starting our first segment, our cooking show, with our dietitians. And we have also asked our community leaders to come out and share their favorite recipe. What makes this different is that the favorite recipe that we they have, I'm sorry, will be converted to a healthier version. And the reason why we are doing this now is because we want to focus on the issues that we're facing, which is uh, heart disease, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure. Uh, many of the problems that we're having now is because of the way that we eat. And what they're doing for us is making it healthier, but taste great. And that is one of the issues that we have, is that people are not willing to change their eating habits because of the way it tastes. We're taking on the challenge, and our first guest, our special guest, is Bill Gonzalez, director of Habitat for Humanity. And I would like for you to share with us what recipe do you want us to convert? Today we're going to be doing, uh, it's called uh, root beer chicken wings, barbecued wings. And what it is, it's a, uh, a barbecued chicken wing that I utilize at my home, uh, and we cook it uh, usually for football Sundays. It's um, it's a wing that we like to eat quite often, actually. Would you say it's healthy? I would say that it's nothing about my recipe that's healthy <laughs> with these wings. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to see, you know, how great this healthy recipe was, or how good this recipe is being converted into, the, and how healthy it's going to be when it's converted. So you're giving us a challenge. Absolutely. Okay, so after this, then we'd like you to try it, and whoever is here, your friends, could try it and then tell us what they think and if they're willing to continue eating this way. And if you like it, are you going to promise to eat it this way and I'll, prepare it? I'll make it at home like that every single time, the new converted <laughs> way. Wow, then Absolutely. we're coming over. All right, well, I'd like to introduce you to our dietitians who have taken on the challenge and will convert this recipe to a healthier version. Hello, my name is Kelsey DiVirgilio. I'm the registered dietitian here at the Shop Rate of Vinyl. Hi there, my name is Diana Fiorentino and I'm the registered dietitian at the ShopRite of Washington Township. So now we're going to be preparing the chicken wings, the famous chicken wings, Bill Gonzalez's chicken wings. So tell us what you're going to be, what you normally add to your wings. Well, some of the recipe uh, calls for um, uh, different, uh, a, gin a ginger soda, um, some, uh, I'm sorry, root beer, uh, salt, We've got ketchup, uh, uh, different Worcester sauce, uh, brown sugar, uh, pepper, and um, you know juices from uh, from a lemon. Uh, we use uh, uh, juices from an orange as well, and some zest. Uh, so what what it looks like we're doing today is taking all of those recipes and and converting it into a a, a, a more healthier style meal by reducing the different calorie counts, but I'm not an expert in that. I'm an expert in eating unhealthy. <laughs> so I'll let, the, I'll, let the, I'll let the ladies who are uh, teaching me how to eat healthier, please tell us about that. How's that? Thanks. So here we already opened up our chicken wings. They're in the bowl. So we're gonna start out with the marinade for the chicken breast, uh, for the chicken wings before we cook them. So first we'll put in the zest of one orange. We have some brown ginger here. Uh, you could do ground ginger or fresh ginger, whatever you prefer, whatever you have on hand. So we put that in. We have about a half a tablespoon there. Here we have one tablespoon of black pepper. That's really going to give it a nice little kick. We also have a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm. It smells great, a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. And oh. then here we have a half a teaspoon of salt. So we really tried to reduce the amount of salt that we put in this recipe. So here we're only using a half a teaspoon. And that'll, all the other flavors that we incorporated into the marinade and the sauce that we'll be making later will really, you won't even miss the sauce. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks amazing. Now, would you say that, um, is this much less salt than what you use or, or yeah. no? Usually it's, it's, uh, it's about a, a tablespoon and, uh, and a half of salt that we would normally use for this. So it's, it's quite a bit of a reduction in the salt, absolutely. Okay, well then we'll see. So while Bill continues to massage the chicken breasts, we're also going <laughs> to make the sauce for the chicken. So, first off, 
It is a root beer uh, barbecue sauce, so we're going to add in some root beer. Now, what kind of root beer is that, Kelsey? So we've decided to use the Honest Company's root beer fizz, and it is a lower sugar alternative to regular root beer. It uses erythritol and stevia, which is sugar alcohol and a natural sweetener from a plant instead of real sugar. And the nutrition information, zero grams of sugar. Compared to a regular soda, might have up to 30 grams. So you're really cutting out some sugar. So you're promising that this is going to be tasty. Yes. Okay, awesome. So, we're gonna do a cup. Each measurement for here is a fourth of a cup, so. Next, we're going to add in some olive oil. About how much olive oil are you okay. using? We're using about a fourth of a cup. Awesome. This handy little measuring spoon can be found in the store. Next, we're going to be using ketchup. So ketchup is actually a hidden source of sodium that some people might not know about. So we're choosing to use no salt added ketchup right here. Oh, wow. What do you think of that? I didn't know there was such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use a cup. I'm going to eyeball it. Looks like about a cup left. Okay. okay. <laughs> Next, we have some garlic powder. And how much garlic powder is that? So we have a half a teaspoon right now. Half a teaspoon, okay. And really for any of the flavoring seasonings in the recipe, we left it alone because those aren't contributing calories or sodium. They're really just contributing flavor. And so we, where we lose the sodium from taking salt out, we still maintain the integrity of the flavor profile by adding in all those herbs and spices. So we did the garlic powder. Next we have some pepper. So here we have a teaspoon of pepper. Again, the more spice you have, the less salt, you, you won't notice that the awesome. salt is missing. Awesome. So we have another half a teaspoon of salt as well. Going in. Which brings it to a total of one teaspoon of salt versus, it was a t one and a half tablespoons, tablespoon. which is, what, four and a half teaspoons about yes. of salt? So, big reduction. And we have some onion powder going in as well. And last but not least, we have some molasses. So the original recipe called for brown sugar. So as if you don't know, brown sugar is just molasses mixed in with regular sugar. But so by using molasses, we're just having a concentrated flavor from brown sugar. So getting a little bit of sugar, but a lot less than you would get from using three tablespoons of brown sugar. Wow, what do you think of that, Bill? I think it's, it actually looks pretty good going in there. I can't <laughs> wait to taste it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> So, and we're just going to whisk this up. And then the sauce, you continue to baste, you know, over the, the chicken wings as they cook. Now, Bill, how do you usually cook these wings? Yeah. The, they're usually on an outdoor charcoal grill. Okay. Um, unfortunately, inside we couldn't do that. Uh, but you're still getting the same effect uh, by cooking it in an oven at a higher temperature. So. Awesome. So now she's going to pour and you're going to massage? Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, I have a few. The Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> oh. the Worcestershire is a great way to add some extra flavor. Yes. <laughs> and, and then the lemon as well. So it actually looks really, really good, Bill. Without adding yeah, uh, any calories or salt or fat, mm -hmm. use up that citrus. You'll really. I may want to keep coming back in here just to get these recipes all. Oh, well, that's great. Then you can follow us every month. Recipes every every yeah. month. Bring my, my, my next recipe and have them all converted. There you go. That's what I want. <laughs> okay, so what do we do next? Okay. Well, this is a sauce, so here we have the chicken wings, but really, we're going to take well, out. We can pour these in here to so pour the sauce. Can we just cut them? So now that we've made the marinade, I'm going to pour some over the chicken wings mm. and let Bill rub that in and get some even more flavor infused into the wings before we cook them. That smells awesome, Bill. It does. It smells really, really good. It actually smells just like it would when I make it at home. So it's, okay. it's a, and it looks great. So I really can't wait to try these. There you go. This is awesome. The wings are in the oven now and it smells great. So what do you think? 
Well, I could tell you that while we were preparing them, uh, it looked, the recipe, it all looked identical to the way it looks at home. Okay. Smells the same, and right now, while they're cooking, it does really smell great in here. Mm. So, we just can't wait to try it. <laughs> you want to take them out of the oven? That would be great. That's there are a few different shot. ways that you could cook the wings. So, you could cook them all on the grill, and mm. then cook them all the way through on the grill, mm. or you could sear in the flavors on the grill, and then finish it in the oven. So that's what we did. We seared them, and then we finished them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at a 450 degree oven. Wow. Like Can't wait to try out. them. We're going to have to sample them and see, you know, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's get some plates. So. Uh, we have our napkins and our plates. Here we have little cups. So can do oh, we're going to be using the, uh, the little cups. So I'll have you try it first. Matter of fact, we should have our guest yes. try it first oh, absolutely. and tell us what he thinks. So how does it look? Does it look amazing? It does. It looks very, very good. Okay. They look nice and crispy and ready to go. Sauce. Okay. Give it a try. Yeah. And what do you think? It's still a little hot, so you gotta give me. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. If that's all we made, we really should have made a lot more than that. <laughs> well, so that means that uh, the challenge that you gave us, our dietitians met that challenge, and you promised that you're gonna be serving it like this healthier uh, for your family and friends. So our challenge was to take this root beer barbecue chicken wing recipe and to make it a little bit healthier. And so we did some simple swaps that you could definitely do for any recipe. Uh, we took the salt down, we swapped out the, the regular root beer for a natural zero calorie sweetened root beer. And we also did little swaps like doing a, a molasses instead of a brown sugar. And when you look at the nutrition, it's really staggering how different it is by making these little swaps. And so in the original recipe, first of all, the, the serving size was for 10 wings, I think. Yes. It was for about 10 wings, which is a very large portion for one person. And so our first recommendation was to bring that serving size down to maybe more like five wings per person. That's maybe a little more reasonable um, amount of wings for one person to enjoy. With these swaps, um, the original calories were 520 calories per serving, and we brought it down to 304 calories. So a good calorie reduction. Um, but probably more impressive, we took the total fat from 30 grams of fat down to 14 grams of total fat. And so pretty much cutting the fat in half with the substitutions that we made. And then lastly, the sodium. So the original recipe had over 2,000 milligrams of sodium per serving. And we were able to bring it down in this recipe to 388 milligrams of sodium. And so it went from pretty much all that you're allowed to have in a whole day to a much more reasonable, you know, three to 400 calorie range. And so with these little swaps, you, you know, you can definitely play with it if you feel it needs a little more salt or you need a little more of the sweetness, you can adjust it. But you can see that these swaps made a big difference nutritionally. For this healthier cooking segment at Botina Shop Rice Stores, thank you so much to Bill Gonzalez for sharing his recipe with us. Thank you so much for coming out, Director of Cumberland County Habitat for Humanity. Is there anything that you would like to say before we close? I just thank you uh, to Patino ShopRite for helping us uh, have a better, healthier way of eating and, and for providing us these great, healthier choices. It's wonderful. It's a great community service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. And also, thank you to our dietitians for helping us take that challenge again and converting the recipe into a healthier one. Thank you so much to Kelsey DiVirgilio, Deanna Fiorentino for coming out today. Thank you very much. And I also want to uh, thank Perfil Latino for coming out today, who's taping the show. And again, I'm Maribel Santos, Public Relations for Botino ShopRite Stores. Have a great day.